Welcome to Fun with Yeti. Uh, this week to celebrate our sixth episode of Having Fun, we're going to really focus on creativity. Creativity is awesome. Uh, when I was a young twin with Sasquatch just growing up, we had to create a lot of our fun. It just wasn't there for us. It, there wasn't the internet, so it, things definitely had to get funky with it. Sasquatch and I, we decided to take our stuffed animals, which we love, some of my best friends, and we decided to do something called the Stuffed Animal Olympics. This week, we are going to focus on doing the Stuffed Animal Olympics or a version of it in your own home, your family's version of it. Uh, so get ready for it, get pumped, here we go. Oh, so I should probably introduce you to my, my stuffed bestie over here. It's Oinks. Yeah, I love Oinks. Oinks and I have gone through a lot together. We've gone through the good. We've gone through some hard times together too. Um, Oinks and I are gonna show you some of the ropes, some of the competitions we have for to th uh, this week's games. So check this out. Hello, I got my boys here. They got a message for you. What is it, boys? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Oinks and I have decided to do four competitions today. These four competitions will test the might, test the will, test the true glory of your stuffed animals. Oinks, though, he means too much, so he's not going to compete today. I have other competitors. We're going to meet them right now. Here we go. All right, everyone, it's time to meet the competitors of today's Stuffed Animal Olympics. Today, filling in for my champion, I have Kissy Fur. Oh, yeah. You're going to meet the other competitors right now. Here we go. All right, I'm Quail, and this champion is Bach. He's going to fly to victory. Oh, he thinks so. <laughs> Next competitor, come on down. Be quick. Come on, let's go. This is Tiny Dog. Oh yeah, Tiny Dog, not so tiny. And our last competitor, hurry, come on in, hurry. Don't miss it. Garfield. Oh, you almost didn't miss, make the camera. Those are the four competitors. Now let's get ready for our first competition. All right, everyone. Our first competition today in our Olympics is the great, amazing sheet toss. What do you need? You need a sheet and your champion. What we're gonna do right now is throw our champions into the sheet. Oh, well, if one of your kids does that, well, you know what it's like to be a parent. All right, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna do a three, two, one, and we're all gonna to toss up. And big disclaimer, you cannot try to move the sheet. You can try, I guess, but the rest of your family's not gonna let you. Two, if somebody gets eliminated, they're Dunsky. They're eliminated, they're out of here. If there's only one left, you win. Two left, we can do a showdown. My oldest son wanted to know, what if they all go? We'll figure that out. We can always do a redo. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh! oh! We're gonna go whichever one was closest, and the animal that wins, the gold medal that was closest is gonna be... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> wins round one! <laughs> Get ready for round two of our stuffed animal Olympics. We have a bed here. The bed's nice and big. That's why we chose the bed. And we have our champions. Now, we're going to do a little like shovelboard skid slash like Super Smash Brothers elimination. The goal is to, to slide your champion across and eliminate anyone else around. If you get knocked off, you're out. And then we do it the next round with just the survivors. So let's do round one right now. Get ready, guys. Three, two, one, go. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. We won round two! <laughs> it's unstoppable! <laughs> All right, we are now here for event number three of our stuffed animal Olympics. The champions are hungry, and here's what they're hungry for. This is deep accuracy. You can do any form of accuracy. It could be in a hallway. It could be anywhere in your house or outside your house. We have chosen to be in the Shady Creek Amphitheater, and we have, put that down for a second, son. Oh yeah, a giant target. We have a circle of cones with a cone in the middle. Whichever champion gets the closest to the middle when we say three, two, one, toss, 
that champion is the winner. Again, the kick question came up of, what if they hit the cone? That's cool, but once the dust settles, whoever is closest to the cone in the middle wins this round. Bach is up 2-0. Let's do this. Here we go, champs. Nemo, come a little closer to me, son. Here we go. Three, find that technique. Two, one, go, Excelsior. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's Rich. Uh, no. Oh, it's Bach is the winner again. Bach. There's one more! Can Bach do a clean sweep? No way! Here we go! The final round of our Olympics will be stuffed animal bowling. The competitors are ready. Let's do this! Right, let's go Bach! Let's go Bach! Big roll Bach! Let's go Garfield! Oh, tiny man! All right, it's Kissy first time. He's been letting me down so far. Time to come up big. not be here to give sassiness today because he's taking the cat on a walk to find toilet paper. But I, I'm Mrs. Little and I'm here to present to you and I thought I'd, since I'm not super sassy, I'd invite our roommate Kevin to come help. And that's me! Hi Kevin. What's a roommate? I don't have a room. Well, you kind of have a room. You put me inside of a box underneath the bed! Well, yeah. Haven't you seen the movie? One day I shall have my own room. Every night I dream the same dream. To have a real room for a real boy. Okay, Pinocchio. I am ready, Mrs. Little, for the Olympics. I shall win the gold for my country. Well, it's, it's not the real Olympics. What? It's the stuffed animal Olympics. What's the stuffed animal? A stuffed animal? Well, you know, it's like an animal with stuffing. People sleep with real animals with stuffing inside of them. No, not People crazy. are crazy. No, not a, not a real animal. It just looks like an animal, and it's fluffy, and you, you cuddle it. But you actually, there are real stuffed animals out there. It's called taxidermy, and Yeti does have some of those in his office. Are you telling me that Yeti still plays with stuffed animals? Does he sleep with them too? You'll have to ask him that. It's my sister! I love having you guest hosts. Sasquatch can walk the cat whenever he needs to. Uh, and Kevin, you're a cool dude. Thanks for being on my show. Uh, speaking of though, it's Oinks again. Do I sleep with Oinks still? Ha! He's more like retired to the shelf, watching over me type status these days. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this week's episode, and hopefully you and your stuffed animal buddies can recreate the stuffed animal Olympics in your own home. For this week, I'm Yeti, this is Oinks, and the whole family. Uh, boom shakalaka, see you next week. What's in the box? What's in the box?